What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So when it comes to current gen system shoot 'em ups RPGs, for this video we're just gonna focus on the shoot 'em ups uh, The PlayStation 4 has always been where it was at for me. I always wanted physical on the PS4, never even owned a Switch until I got one at the flea market, right? So I got a Switch, they start coming out with uh, shoot 'em ups for it. I end up buying them and now the Nintendo Switch is starting to eclipse the PS4. I, I still think the PS4 is where it's at because it has Kutsu. But anyway, let's get into it. Um, we'll start off with some some small games. Here's one I have sealed. I haven't even played it on the Switch yet. Played it on the PS4, but that's uh, San Mora EX. Uh, THQ Nordic published this game. Uh, not that great of a shooter. Uh, it does have some cool visuals, but if you're into collect and shoot 'em ups, it's a must buy, and you can probably find it for under under 20. Um, I know I did, and I didn't even open this one yet because it's. Not that good of a shooter, and like I said, I played it on the PS4, but anyway, sign more at EX. Uh, next up is the SNK uh, 40th Anniversary Collection. Now, I forget what exactly all shooters are on the cart here, but I know there's at least one. Um, there are some pretty cool games here. I didn't buy this game um, at, at first. I just I waited till I found it at a retro store used, and it was pretty cheap, but... Anyway, you know, something to look out for if you can find it for a deal. It's the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection. But, I mean, odds are you can probably play these games on a million other collections that released over the years. Um, a really cool one that I like is the one that released on the PS2. But Okay, next up is another shooter that's not that great. Um, that's Aces of Luft Luftwaffe Squadron. I guess that's maybe a, like a German word or something. You know, I don't know. I don't know, but not that great of a... Of a shooter it's okay i guess but um it's like one of those like vertically scrolling but in the the horizontal or yoko i don't know i don't like it but it does have a, so it says all the dlc is on the cart but uh you know if it's a shooter if you're into shooters you know again it's one you can probably find for under 20 um especially used but anyway aces of luftwaffe squadron and one that I'm going to add to this list because it has Biohazard Battle on the cart is the Sega Genesis Classic Collection. Now, I also have this on the PlayStation 4, but I wanted the one for the Nintendo Switch because I can play it portably and still play it on the TV if I want. And um, it, it, there's something about playing the Sega Genesis Classic Collection on the Super Nintendo Nintendo Switch Online controller, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I, I, I highly recommend that controller. It sucks that it's like a rare collectible at, at this point at, uh, nintendo needs to make more of those things but anyway buyer has biohazard battle is on the cart here and I, I highly recommend this collection you know i like it i like the sega genesis classic mini more but if you're into shooters this one does have biohazard battle on it and i think um gunstar heroes is on here i do believe yeah that's where uh that's where i got my uh copy from but anyway sega genesis classic collection okay up next here we go. Here's one that got released recently. This is a uh, Ikaruga. Now I I'm going to say this, and this is a little bit controversial. Treasure is not my favorite uh, maker of shooters, shall I say? Um, this game's okay. This game's okay. I do like Radiant Silver Gun a lot more, and uh, you know, Treasure made Radiant Silver Gun. And there was a copy of Radiant Silver Gun at one of my local retro game stores, Regen. And it just recently sold. They wanted two fifty for that game. Now I'd have I'd have bought that. I, I actually have a repro uh, copy um, that I play uh, right here. This is uh you know just one I bought online for ten bucks. Actually has the OBI with it, right? But there's no manual. But anyway, they wanted two fifty for this. You can find it cheaper online. I guess their reasoning was is because it was in like this great condition. It, it practically look looked brand new. I can't I can't clip out two fifty on. On a radiant silver gun. If you got if you got something like a little bit more serious, like a like a Neo Geo card or something that I really want, maybe maybe. But anyway, Ikaruga. What pissed me off with this version and there, there's, there's it came out for the PlayStation Four. I just don't have that one. I own it digitally on the PS4, so I haven't found the need to buy a physical PS4 version. But this does come with this. Um, my actually my kid likes making these. It's like this metal kit uh, of the ship. Um. But it didn't come with a soundtrack, and I thought I thought that was kind of weird. You know, a game like this, you know, not coming with uh, the soundtrack. I just it, it's touted for this excellent soundtrack, but it, this one it, it comes with this, but no soundtrack. So I, I don't like that. But um, it did get released physically, and I am grateful for that at least. So anyway, Ikaruga. Uh, okay, okay. Here's another one I'm adding to the list because 
there are a couple shoot 'em up levels on it, and that is Gunlord X. Okay, um, and no, I did not pay $34.99 for it. That's just a sticker. I got this in a case protector. This one's actually sealed in it digitally. I just didn't want to open this one up yet. Um, I don't want to ever have to open it if I don't have to. I really like this game a lot, Gunlord. Um, here's my original copy of Gunlord um, right here. At, uh, a release for the Dreamcast and the Neo Geo. This is the first copy I played. I fell in love with the game. As a matter of fact, I'll go, I'll go ahead and say it. I played Gunlord... And this came out, what, like 2012? Probably played it a couple years later. But I played Gunlord way before I ever played any of the Turrican games. And I like the Turrican games, but it's so funny how this is pretty much just like a modern-day uh, Turrican. Um, I love it. But anyway, there's some shoot 'em up levels in Gunlord and Gunlord X. Uh, I think, what, level, what, three or four? And then um, either the last level or second to last level. And, it, and the, the way that your, your, your perspective is on, or the way that you're, it's kind of hard to word this, the way that your ship controls in the shoot 'em up levels is a lot like the levels and, uh, and the way you can change forms in your ship in uh, this game, which is um, a cross scrambled Valkyrie. I'm, I'm sure if any of you guys know what I'm talking about, you can, you know, get at me in the comments or leave a like or whatever, but you know what I'm talking about, how the, 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 the ship is different. It's like a ship in one level, and then it's like kind of like this like weird android thing in uh, another level, or the second to last level. If you've played Gunlord X and you actually finished the game, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but uh, kind of pricey. I, I do believe this is going to be one of the more uh, collectible and uh, maybe sought after, I'm not sure, uh, games on the Nintendo Switch, but this is one that I, I highly recommend. I like it a lot, and it's a collector's edition of this, um, you'll probably get it for like right around 160 and at that price, I actually recommend it. But anyway, Gunlord X. Okay. Um, okay. I'll do both of these together. Uh, this is a lot of games. Um, a lot of games right here, but we have the Psycho Shooting Stars Bravo and Shooting Stars Alpha. Um, now when these games originally released, I, I I'm not even going to go over all the games in this collection, but, um, in in Japan and in different regions and maybe Korea, they released all these games on three different carts. I actually had a couple of them. I sold them to the flea market when this collection came out here in the U.S. But I owned import versions of this collection. And instead of two carts, because there's one cart here and then one cart in here, it came out on three carts. Um, and, you know, this came out. I actually bought this copy here from uh, GameStop. Yeah, they actually carried this at GameStop physically. And uh, this one I bought on Amazon for 40 bucks. It was on sale. So I think that was the uh, the way to go. But, yeah, you do get, uh, you know, soundtracks. All the games are here. This is the way a collector's edition, like, it really should be this. Um, but, anyway, this is Shooting Stars uh, Alpha. You got Strikers 1945, 1945 2, 1945 3, uh, Dragon Blaze, Soul Divide, and um, Zero Gunner 2, which is a awesome game. It's, it's weird how Zero Gunner 2 is on here. But then gun spike or uh, cannon spikes not, but you know that's a different, uh, it's a Capcom thing. But they're just so similar. I think I, they have some of the same programmers work on the games too. Anyway, here we go. Shooting Stars Bravo. We have Gunbird, Gunbird Two. This is like some like weird like pinball Gunbird game. I guess it's Gun Gun Birch. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's in the Gunbird uh, series of games. Ten guys, samurai aces. And uh, I guess this is another uh, game in the Tengai and Samurai Aces series. Um, if you know what that's called, you know, holler at me in the comments. But anyway, games that I highly recommend. And just based on the games, based on the lineup and what's on the cart, uh, you know, if you're going to go for one over the other, definitely go for ALF because I'm a big, you know, Strikers 1945 um, you know, fan of that series of games. But, um, you know, this does have Gumbert on it. You know, if I didn't already own a copy on Gunbird 2 on the Dreamcast, I'd, uh, I'd almost say that this one's, you want to get it first because of Gunbird, but I've, I've already played Gunbird and owned it on uh, Gunbird 1 and 2 because Gunbird 1 came out on the PlayStation 1 as Mobile Light Force, right? So uh, have have those games other ways, but, uh, you know, Strikers 1945-3, this is the only way I know how to play it physically. But anyway, the Psycho Shooting Stars Alpha and Bravo collection on the Nintendo Switch. And it only released on the Switch, not the PS4. Um, this next game is one of my absolute favorites on the system, and it's also my favorite on the PlayStation 4, and that is s -Prade, which I do believe means extrasensory perception. And the reason I say that 
is because I'll show you guys something you may have never seen before. This is a PC version of Esprit. This came out in Korea, but see how it says extrasensory perception. Maybe that's what the ESP stands for. You know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is uh, one of the cave games that actually released physically for the PC. And it's just running the game through a MAME emulator. So it's not really doing anything special there. Um, but God, I love this shooter right here. The mechanic, this is cave at its absolute best, you know, in my opinion. Um, I love Esprit. I'm, I'm grateful that we actually got this on the Nintendo Switch and not just the PS4. I actually own the collector's edition of Esprit on the PlayStation 4. You know, something like that comes out. Like, this is one of the games that I was pushing to get a console release for, for years. I've been playing this game through a main emulator for years. Um, games like Esprit, I've been playing Crimson Clover on the computer for... That's been my favorite shooter since the, before the Nintendo Switch was even thought of, you know. Um, and I'm just grateful that we got games like Crimson Clover and like Esprit on the Nintendo Switch now. Hopefully we'll get a physical of Crimson Clover, right? That would, you know what, Crimson Clover, they make a collector's edition of Crimson Clover, whoever makes it. I, I'd put out 500 if I had to on that. That's how serious that game is to me. It's my favorite shooter. That's like, you know, my copy of Crimson Clover, I have a physical on the PC. That's like one of the things if the house catches fire, like I grab my copy of Crimson Clover and like, and then everything, anything else, you know, everything else after that, right? But Anyway, Esprit, cave at its absolute finest, and this does have reversible cover art. Um, ooh, my Amazon receipt. Um, but yeah, see, reversible cover art. Anyway, Esprit. Okay, next up is more arcade games. This is the Vassar Collection. There's three games on the cart. I do believe there's three games on the cart. This one's still sealed because I own it digitally on my Nintendo Switch, and... Um, this did come out for the PS4. It came out for the Vita at the time that this came out. And I waited a long time for this from Strictly Limited. Um, they, these aren't the greatest arcade games. They're, they're pretty cool. They got really cool sound effects. Um, the mechanics, it's not like a little itty bitty hitbox. You know, it's a little bit, little bit different. You know, you can feel the, the retro shooter arcade vibe in these games. But um, they're, they're pretty cool. And at the time when it released, I was so excited. Because again, this is one that I played, I, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, yeah, I played this through a MAME emulator for, for a while. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the same game I was playing. I'm not 100% sure, honest with you, but um, pretty sure. Anyway, the Vassar Collection, you can still get these games pretty cheap. These weren't like a, a big fan hit. You, know, you go to places like Video Games New York, um, you know, copies of this are like, you know, maybe 50 bucks for the Switch and PS4 and uh, the PlayStation Vita. Um, yeah, but... Nothing to write home about. Just something cool you can add to your collection if you're into shoot 'em ups. Uh, next up, this one is yeah. This is not sealed. I just cut the uh, the top off and shoved it back in the plastic. But the uh, the shmup collection. Um, if you go to Doge and Gravity, you can pretty much download all these games and play them on your PC. And that's how I played most of these. It's just when a release like this comes out for a system like the Switch, you know, these Dojin shooters, you know, I have to get it. And this is a pretty big release. I think this came out on what, like the, uh, God, the, the Wii U, right? There was a Wii U release. I, I sold my Wii U, so I, you know, I didn't get that. But, uh, anyway, the Shmup Collection, there's three, uh, Astro Port games on here. And there's a lot of Astro Port games on the PC, guys. And there's some really cool ones. These are by no means the, the best Astro Port games, at least in my opinion. There's some that kind of look like little, little cute em ups that are, Really fun to play on your PC. Go to Dojin Gravity. You can download a lot of them. But uh, that just tells you. Right, the Arm 7, uh, Cetasius Next, and uh, Wolf Flame. Um, yeah, that Arm 7. I'm, uh, it's, just, it's just not really for me. But uh, Wolf Flame, I, I like that one. But um, I don't know. It's kind of cool. You know, the Dojin shooters. So they're not like the, the most polished games. But they're pretty cool. But you can play them on your PC for free. That's what I'm saying. Is uh, Go to Dojin Gravity and download them and you know also buy the switch i've seen these at local retro game stores in my area too like um god what's that uh damn store i was just there the other day uh, just press play all their locations have it but anyway the uh, shmup collection next up is one that you probably should have this is probably uh if you're a shooter shooter fan and um you want physical games this is probably one of the first ones that you got on your nintendo switch it was one of the first ones i got um you know, I saw, I, I got a Switch and I knew that Raiden 5 
had come out for the Switch. And it's funny, this one actually has a soundtrack. It's like a little mini UMD disc. Let me, uh, yeah, right there. So it actually has the soundtrack with the game. So no reason not to buy that. And to me, that makes the game actually worth its, uh, its, its price tag. And that's, uh, you know, 40, 40 bucks or maybe 50 when it came out. But anyway, Raiden 5, you guys have played that game. Uh, next one's a, a game that got a little bit collectible on the Switch is, uh, I think, I think it's Sterndin, Sterndin Binary Stars. Um, yeah, I played this on the, on the PS4 and, and copies on the PS4 really don't go for as much as they do, uh, on the Nintendo Switch. They were, they did have different companies publish the game, but, uh, cool game for a roguelike. Now for this game, you kind of have to learn the patterns by just repeatedly playing the game, you know, as you do with any shooter, right? But this one is a roguelike, so you just have to learn the, how the different patterns are and every level, and it's it, it's kind of tricky when you think about it in terms like that. But I still think it's a cool game, even though it is a roguelike. And for me, roguelike mechanics are not my most favorite thing in a shoot 'em up. But that's just me. But it is a cool game, but it's not really worth the, the asking price. I found this copy at the flea market. Um, even though it's a, one of those super rare games, I still found it at the flea market. Crazy, right? The copies of it go for like over a hundred bucks on the Switch, and that sucks. So if you could find it for less than that, I'd say go for it. But anything over a hundred bucks, I'd, I'd say this is not worth it. Just buy it digitally. Don't buy it physical. But anyway, Steerenden, I think that's how you pronounce that. Binary Stars. Um, okay, next game, Donmaku Unlimited. Three. Now, I've played some of the Don Maka games on the PC, and, uh, you know, I like them. Not a huge fan of the art style that they, the way they went with that in the in the games, the way everything's so bright and, and neon looking, and uh, but it's cool. It's cool, and I, I like the games. It, it's cool. It's kind of, um, you'll recognize some elements of, like, Crimson Clover, um, you know, in the game, just the, the, because of, like, how busy the screen can get and how there's so much, you know, like I said, stuff going on on the screen. Um, but it, it is one where I, that I recommend and for a while. I don't know what the price is on this now, but, uh, I found this at, a a limited run booth and uh, some convention, you know, years back. Um, but I have seen this in retro game stores in my area and it wasn't too bad. I've seen it for as low as, you know, 30, 40 bucks. So if you see it for around that, or I'd say up, even up to, to 50, it's probably worth the buy, but you know, it, it's a limited run game, so all the all the content should be on the cart. There, you shouldn't really have to deal with any updates or anything like that. But it's one to look out for. It's uh, Dunmaku Unlimited Three. Now, I don't have too many more, and I by no means have all the shoot 'em ups. So, you know, on the Nintendo Switch, there are more that I have physically, or I mean, <laughs> digitally, like Crimson Clover, for example. Um, and there's some that we haven't gotten physical releases of yet. So for those games, hopefully we'll get them one day and. Here's one of the first ones that I could think of that I ever saw on the Nintendo Switch, and that's RXN Raijin. Um, not the greatest shooter. Not a whole lot to say about it. Uh, there's a collector's edition that I think comes with a soundtrack. I um, know a couple people that sprang for that one. I paid a lot for this. I got this at a convention um, from Video Games New York. I think it was like 60, 60 bucks at the time. Um, and they still might have it listed on their site, but I know it's one that for whatever reason, is more sought after. I, I couldn't tell you why, but anyway, RXN Raijin. Uh, next is one that I own digitally. So I didn't open this copy, but that is Power... I got, how you pronounce that? Power Um, It's like a rock, paper, scissors. You can kind of cycle through your weapons. Um, not a huge fan of the art style in, in this game, but it, it is a cool shooter. I, I do like it. I do enjoy it. Um, it's not expensive. This copy, there's another one that came out just like this on the PS4 there. It's like 35 bucks, or you can buy a standard edition for 30 but this uh, this does come on the soundtrack. Um, yeah, I'd say for the price tag, it's definitely worth getting. You know, Play Asia, that, that copy right there, the collector's edition, or I think the definitive edition, as they call it, is like 35 bucks. So, you know, at that price, you can't you can't not buy it. And then to follow that, that one up... This is one, my uh, my woman got me this for Christmas. This is my Christmas present. And that is, and God God help me if I don't pronounce this right, but Waf, Wafu, Wafu Uncovered. This is one of those 
weird doujin games that um for the life of me I, it, it's cool it's not the greatest but you know you should enjoy it but um wafu uncovered um it's like a little collector's edition i didn't open this one yet because i own it digitally but uh it's probably something that people are going to look for in the future next up one that i highly recommend this is the aleste collection it's like 70 some dollars right now for that price is it worth it yeah ggls3 is on there that new game that m2 hired what they got people from that were the old compiled developers and aiding and rising developers to, to work on this game i highly recommend it i absolutely love the game I've, i streamed it maybe a couple times already uh, a buddy of mine that that game collector he was telling me he streamed it a few days ago so I, I i love it you know i love everything about ggls3 it's um i've heard people say it's the shoot 'em up of the year for 2020 and i'll go with that i will go with that it's it's expensive there are so it's what it is it's all the 8-bit aleste or aleste games or is on the cart so you don't have musha or super aleste um whatever however you want to go with that one you don't have um robo aleste and you don't have uh space megaforce so if you had all those you would have a 16-bit collection and that would be awesome if m2 did that but you know another game to add to the m2 shot triggers line of shooters but anyway aleste Let's take collection. All right, next up, Savariar Delta. Now, I do own quite a few games in this series of shooters. There's one I own on the Dreamcast, uh, which is the first one I got. A buddy of mine, James, actually traded me a copy of that for some RPG on the Game Boy Advance a few years back. But um, I do love the roll mechanic in this game, but I don't like it on this one in particular. I, I much more prefer the roll mechanic on the original Savariar, or, uh, or one of the Savariar games I have on the PS2 has a pretty pretty good roll mechanic. But I like the roll mechanic where you have to roll the analog stick. Um, the way it is now is you can just hit the, the triggers, and I, I guess that's probably the way that you want to go. But for me... This game was a lot more fun when you do the roll mechanic, you know, just with the uh, with the with the analog stick. For whatever reason, I just I really dug that. Um, and this is one that you can find cheap. You can find it used at GameStop. You can find it pretty much anywhere. You can probably find it for under twenty dollars. And um, I'd say for 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 the price and the availability of Salvariar Delta, I think it's probably the closest you'll get to like a really really well well-made you know japanese shoot 'em up but it's one that i recommend and you can find it cheap it's uh it's pretty good and uh i wish i wish they all got released the way that they pushed this one i mean god but uh yeah you should be able to find it if you don't have it already but odds are if you're watching this video you probably already have that shooter um and the last one and uh I didn't save the best for last, but I do dig this shooter. I I, I, mean, I don't want to say I don't like the art style. It's not it's not a traditional kind of kind of shoot 'em up, but that's Freedom Finger. Um, it's got really cool mechanics. I dig the the art style. It's like a it's like a stoner. It's a stoner shooter, is what it is. I mean, there's like bongs and stuff going in the game, and <laughs> I, I like it. It's it's fun. Um, I think it came out on other systems as well. Um, you know, super rare games. Although I don't like I don't agree with all the stuff that they're putting out they do they do every now and again put out a shooter and it's usually a halfway decent one and this is just one that they went with and um you know i think it's pretty good and you know i don't know what this game i don't know if if it's going to be one of those super sought after games in the future but i will say this if you like shoot 'em ups you, you probably owe it to yourself to get freedom finger and i don't think it's one that goes for a ton of money but uh I got that when they had the pre-orders listed, what, maybe five or six months ago as of the recording of this video. Anyways, guys, that's uh, all the shooting ups There they are right there. It's uh, all the stuff I got for the Switch. Um, I do have more Switch games. I got stuff kind of buried in there and got a bunch of Switch games, right? I'm not, I'm not, I kinda, I'm getting out of hand with it, kind of, but um, there's just so much cool stuff coming out on the Switch and just the fact that I can play it portably or I could throw it up on the big screen. That's just a... That made it my go-to system over the PS4, if I'm going to be completely honest. Got a lot of love for that PS4, but, uh, you know, guys, you can't argue with results. Anyways, guys, that's my Nintendo Switch shoot 'em up collection. Till next time. Peace.